What is up guys? Today I am troubleshooting Black Hawk by the Card Brothers, which looks a little something like this. And that is one of my favorite ways to just shoot a card from one hand to the other. But it was very difficult for me, and I know it was it is difficult for some other cards to learn as well. Whenever I flipped the card, it just went right up into my face, or it just flopped and down like a poor bird. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to give you some tips on how to stop the card from flopping and make it spin across horizontally like it's supposed to. And so, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so there are two ways to get into Black Hawk. The first way is the standard way, and the second way is the easy way. And so we're going to start with the standard way because it's the one that's supposed to be used. And the standard way is very similar to how you would get into backdrop. So you take your thumb, peel off the top card, grip it with your thumb and middle finger, and then grip it with your index finger and pinky finger on the long edges. Let go with your thumb, turn your wrist around, while these bottom two fingers, your middle and ring finger, straighten out. So you're here, and then you turn your wrist around while your, those fingers straighten out. Then you release the grip a little bit with your index finger and pinky finger. And when it's loose enough, you can lower your index finger underneath the card, and then you straighten your entire hand out. Because your hand's kind of like this, and then you straighten it out, you flatten it out. And then you get into position. This is gonna be your flicking position. So basically, your hand is out like this, and you take your index finger and put it under your middle finger. So you're in this position. From the top, you pull off with your thumb, grip on the long edges, turn your wrist away round and straighten your fingers. Release the grip a little bit with your index and pinky finger. Lower your index finger and then move it underneath your middle finger. And then you can just let it, the card sit like this. It's just balancing. And yeah, that's the standard method. For the easy method, you just need the single card. And I've actually taught this to lay people, so if they can do it, I'm sure you can do it too. But you're gonna take your hand and get in position again. So you just take your index finger, put it under your middle, and you place the card on top of your middle finger like that. Also, this balance thing can be difficult at first. If you try and get there too quickly by doing the standard way, it may, uh, slip off like that. Practice uh, getting into position a lot slower until you get that balance down and where it's more comfortable and you get used to the weight of the card. Now, how you line the card up with your middle finger is very important and we'll get to that right now. So how you want it to line up is you want the card to be straight in line, so not like angled like this or this, but straight. It's okay if it's a little bit angled towards your index finger, your non-dominant side, because that just gives more room for the index finger to flick. But if it's uh, angled away, that's a lot less room, but it's better to just be straight. Also, if you notice, there's a little bit of space from the edge of the card to the edge of my middle finger. And that's about an inch away to maybe an inch and a half. But it's also just between my first joint and this joint. So about halfway. Because if it's too um, far back, it doesn't flick very well. And if it's too far up front, it kind of flops. Keep it about halfway. Again, that's about an inch 
or maybe three or four centimeters. Now at first, whenever I would get into position, I would use my thumb to help guide me. So you grip the card with your thumb like you would for backdrop, but you pull the card back with your thumb and pinky. But now I just let go with my index finger but you also want to make sure the card actually is lined up in the middle with your middle finger. And so to do that, you just push more with the pinky. So you're here and then you just push it a little more. It may help to grip the card closer to the corners than in the middle of the card. So if you grip them closer to the corners like this, and then turn around, you're a lot more ready in position. So now it's time for the shooting of the card. Basically all you do from here is just snap, flick your finger like so, move your index finger up while your middle finger moves down. I'm sure you've done this before, just that little flick. Now, it may not go horizontal at first, it may fly straight up, it may just flop, and for like the hundredth time, it may have something to do with where you have positioned the card or how you have angled the card. Or it may be that you're just flicking too lightly. Because this is just a flick and you're not like bending the card like you would for a flicker shot, you can uh, flick basically as hard as you want and the card will not get ruined or anything. So make sure you put enough power to let the card spin. And another thing that just kind of helps me get power for this shot is bringing my ring finger down right before the shot actually happens. Kind of like that. So basically in this entire flick, my thumb's out here, my ring finger is down a little bit, and my pinky is out, and I flick, and that's the position. Again, it's just all up to experimentation. Another thing that you might want to keep in mind is to make sure this card is touching the back of your hand. So if your hand's bent like this, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work, it's gonna flop. And of course, you just gotta keep practicing. So from the top, take a card, you can put it in position, or you can do the actual motion, get into flicking position, make sure the card is lined up properly with your middle finger, flick, and catch. Catching will take some time, so to go longer distance, the card brothers do mention this in their tutorial, but you basically get into the same position, but this time you angle your wrist not that much more that's an exaggeration but you angle it just just enough not to where the card's gonna fall of course but just just a little bit more hopefully you can see this and it should go a little bit farther when you get really good at it you'll be more able to control how far the card um, flies across from hand to hand, so you can control how close, and you can control how much farther. But other than that, that's basically the card shot. Hopefully this was helpful, and if you have any more questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. You see here, kid? You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what comes after or what came before. Another tip to make the card go farther if you're like doing like a long distance shot like my YouTube short, besides angling your wrist just the slightest amount before the card falls, you also want to make sure your hand is higher than the deck that you're catching with or your hand because if it's level then the card's gonna do at least a little bit of falling because of gravity but if the deck is 
unlevel, then the card can, you know, fall and land on the deck. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm not gonna say it's common sense because, but yeah, let's go on to the outro. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. And now it's time for the shout outs from last week's video. So shout out to Jesse, Corey, Jaden Bourne, Michael P, Percival Magic, and Mahul Raj, who actually came up with the secret word, which was Helihawk, and everyone else commented Helihawk in the comments. So thank you for watching the video and commenting that below. There was not a secret word in this video, but there is a very high chance that there will be one in next week's video, so be on the lookout for that. And just be sure to keep liking, subscribing, and commenting. Really means a lot to me. And I'll see you next time. And you might think, what if I fall? Well, what if you don't? What if you fly?